He can feel it up here. Wow, this was an outstanding rush by Parsons. I want to bring Gene in here and ask him right there at the end. You mentioned Van Ginkle. These are going to be the guys who are going to have to emerge at those outside linebacker spots, which in Vic Fangio's system, that's paramount. Meetings about being back in the pocket and having two hands on the football. That's all fine and dandy until T.J. Watt shows up. But this is all about just relentlessness. You keep coming. It's a matchup on Ricard first, and then Morgan Moses. Lamar holds it a little bit. Well, when you watch this defensive unit here for Detroit, effort, intensity, no one greater than Aiden Hutchinson, him, Alex. Well, he is a big man right here, and I've even See, made, you made him bigger. even bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, he's just so powerful, and I'm telling you, at 330 plus pounds, he has. Watch him right here. <laughs> he's barely even looking like he's. That's just all instincts. And God-given talent and ability. The guys. <laughs> oh. You got Parsons over here, so all the attention goes there. <laughs> three guys. And <laughs> got that's three gonna, guys there. It's going to help you. Stay around and make a play. This offensive line, particularly the tackles, they don't handle it particularly well. Brian O'Neill, the right tackle. And that doesn't happen. He's out of his stance. And what they did was they brought an extra uh, rusher. Get to the quarterback. Just not enough time. But look at the power. Look at him toss people. Then you are trying, there he is, to double team him. Now watch this. Just go ahead and split that double team really quick. And it's Zach Allen. That was a huge, a huge pickup in the offseason, right, from Arizona. Montez Sweat, he's just able to win against O'Neal. And Clown is so big and strong and long. Another one of these veteran guys. Look at the get off. He runs right through the block. The extension knocks it out. Working on Morgan Moses. Starts with his get off. He just captures that edge and look at the spin move. Remember the great Dwight Freeney? <laughs> Nobody better than Dwight Freeney coming back. Wow, what a great play. Submiss on this defense, just like Aaron Donald brings, even when he doesn't get a sack, he makes you pay. By the time he looks left and decides, okay, I wanted the rookie, he's not there, there's that offensive line. Well, here's, I gave Christian the big guy. Well, here comes the emphasis on Benito, number 42, but those last three plays. Plan against Lamar, he said, hey, we're going to turn Morgan Fox and Khalil Mack loose. Everybody else is responsible for Lamar Jackson running. He gets turned. It's just the first step, right? I mean, it is just Bosa's ability to get on these big tackles, and then he dips his shoulder around and just brings quarterbacks down he has just been such a consistent gets around to the outside smith and taylor double teaming him but as mahomes moves around they lose that double team he's having great outside linebackers and he's got chubb on one side and, and phillips on the other and we always equate he had a tremendous year with philadelphia came over here now you're going to add him with both yeah daryl taylor is the guy who will line up very wide he's a speed rusher and he just flies up the field. And then when Purdy came around. His hands are so good. Watch the inside hands. Now he mm, underneath, push you back in the backfield. Then to be able to disengage. Johnson was his only option, but he was off to the left. And he's already having to get on his horse. He didn't have the time to get back left. And Sorry, right down in there. He just destroys three guys on his way. And eyes to the outside. They pretty much dominated. Yes, they had. I mean, the two missed field goals were huge. Get around the edge on Christian and then hits the spin move and counter move. And then one look and go to another and make you react to it and confuse the offensive lineman, create some one-on-one -on -one match. But shotgun, Jim, there's only one way to run it. You can only run it that way. And Dallas sends the pressure from that way. They're quick, strong, and explosive. So Justin Herbert holds the ball. Gets a good matchup inside. Well, here's Miles Garrett running around the end. You see Trotman gets a piece of him. Bowles has to try and get a piece of him. And Miles Garrett runs the hoop all the way around and almost gets him. Yeah, we saw Sheldon Day earlier in the first quarter how he was able to get pressure on fields in the pocket. That's an outstanding job by Sheldon Day. Being able to shed the blockers, and Bullard was the first guy who got through. Well, they're going to stack the line of scrimmage, and so for Justin Fields, 
it's a balance between understanding when you can get out of the pocket. Well, Ivan Pace, you see him right here, number 40. Now you've got another rookie in Roshan Johnson, the running back, who's trying to pick him up. But that's what Pace does really well. He's an undersized linebacker. On the play sheet, and, and this is the pressure. You mentioned Washington getting the hit. You know, they went outside, they went inside. But spread out. Try to run the ball against favorable boxes where there are not a lot of guys in there. Certainly having a really good year doing that, but his ability to defend the run both on the front side and the back side is underappreciated. Chasing it down from the back side. You know, watch Russo. Hold the edge. Hold the edge. Don't fall inside. Wait for him to come to you as you set the edge. Well, here comes the pressure around the side. You're going to get a little P.J. Walker sandwich right there from the one of the most dominant forces. He's inside, but watch, he's going to loop around. He just throws him away and gets to the backfield. That gives no chance. Tranquil comes on the blitz. NFL sack. He, he's made up. He's Rock Purdy, but he does the job here for the Rams. Yeah, watch that arm over move that he puts on Paris Johnson right well, This is just bad spacing right here. By the offensive line and the halfback, they're just too close together. And they need a little more room, a little more air in there. Well, not he's just one on one with Parham, and he throws him away, and is able to get to the backfield, and is able to wrap him up. This club move that he gets to break ball. free. You see that big club? Just create space. Well, Nichols is lined up to the inside, and watch the stunt. Crosby goes to the inside, so Nichols goes to the outside. He recognizes the screen, not able to get him initially. Well, he has had himself just a heck of a game. Ebukam, this is his sixth uh, quarterback pressure. He turns the corner. Timeout by D'Amico Ryans. Anytime your quarterback gets hit this hard in a two-minute situation, you kind of want to just check him out. Josh Allen, look. Bowling throw, but here comes Trayvon Walker. So 15. Yes. They're trying to set up the screen to go backside to Devin Singletary, and there's nothing you can really do. Outside guy, but look where they line him up right here. Bam, getting there. Great opportunity running that game. You see, Cansey is just working over here to this side, and really. You know, he's able to push Will Fry's back and... You know, I wonder sometimes if these zone reads are true zone reads because you see the edge collapsing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And pushes him out of bounds, and then as he goes back to his left, again, there's nowhere to go with the football. Just take a look at the effort from Jihad Ward. He's going to beat a double team and still get to Zappi. He is double team bold right over David Andrews. That's Sanders looking across the formation trying to make that block and you don't have a great angle. To get it to Hayward. Watch Highsmith coming off the pressure off the edge. It forces Browning to step up. And when he does, who's waiting there? Texas defense does a good job here of taking away the zone read option here. You got Petrie on the edge. Working against Landon Young, number 67. So Ryan Ramchek out of the lineup and just beats him quick. Knocks the hands down. The rest of the defensive front, they're bringing the pressure as they go up the field. Again, you see how they collapse the pocket and it forces DeVito. I mean, for crying out loud, this is just... Uh, I, I, at it, this it point, can't right on the outside, he's able to bait Ezekiel Elliott to going inside. He's blocked the, by Hunter Henry. Makes up that ground. You, you've got a lot of things going on, right? You got to sort it out. You got to protect the edge. You got a little bit of option coming. You got to take on a block. Uh, that's really well done. To Travis Etienne, you watch him. He runs up under center, flips it out, and man, what a great job in pursuit by everybody. But when you're changing the culture of an organization as a head coach, take on the guard. But, you know, first defeat the block and then get to the ball carrier. Matthew Bergeron, a little bit of a stumble there, but that, that is textbook. Talked about when, when Taysom comes in, and you know what it is, and Adam Prentice is going up, and he just gives him that little step around and is able to get back. Well, right here, you want to keep your shoulders square to the line of scrimmage, not perpendicular, and you see how he gets turned automatically. That's going to create an opening, and that opening... Who just can't get him cut off. Stops ETN in the backfield. It's hard for just an easy toss and White losing some concentration. But, you know, one of the big stories from last week.
has just been terrific. He's going to come with power. And, and that's just not against any old lineman. Tristan Wirfs, he's a pretty good left tackle. He just drives. Just all about getting off the ball right here and going with speed. And he wins inside. Rory Robertson uh, Harris comes. Nicely designed game. You got. Uh, try on Shoyinka coming from the inside. They're going to set it up and he's going to wrap around. And because Gardner. Raiden's right here. He has moved over to the right tackle spot. So as you watch your great secondary move, you engage, good two hand pump, and then get to the rip underneath to capture that edge. And you see Levis just climbing, 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 trying to get away. But many, many times he likes to escape to his left. That's one of his favorite moves. Yeah, they're going to do some different things. Watch the little stunt inside here. Or at least it was a fall. They were trying to get the stunt going. And for Geno Smith, he had escaped. Somebody's got to come down there, block that edge, and take care of Autry. That is just like stealing. It's too easy for Autry to make a big play in the backfield. You see, it looked like DeForest Buckner came off the edge. All these sacks sort of look alike to me, don't they, you? Where yes. it's just, it feels like all four of them are getting to the quarterback at the same time. There's like anybody open, and he doesn't have a check down. So he has nothing to do with his football. And we've seen this a lot this year with this Jets offense. The beautiful thing is you, you get pressure. Davis gets the sack, but how about the pressure on the outside? Here's Fred Warner. Coming on the pressure, looping back around, and Armstead. And you go away from him, and Wilkins is here. Action goes away. You think he would have collapsed down. Instead, he's there with discipline. And we talked about his footwork. Usually the ball's out now, but you see the, the linebacker, CJ Mosley. Needs gum. I mean, that was <laughs> Randy Gregory standing right there. To be brought in here to come over and play the run. And yet here he is, the veteran player, so smart. Snip that screen out all the way. It's off of Fowler right here, who's on this side. And he plays it perfectly. You run at the quarterback and the running back, and it was too slow. I want you to watch right here. His job is to guard him. So right after the snap, he beats the guard and gets all the way over there. If you're a little late to recognize Jim, I want you to watch. The D line, this is a run stunt, they call it. One guy goes in, one goes out. You think you have them all blocked with leverage. The right side of the line, right down here, splits Zach Martin and Biotish. And this is the way that the commanders can win this game. It's the That's what you do. Instead of an incomplete, it's a fumble. Jonathan Owens, alert, picks it up, says, I'm going to run this in from 27 yards out to make it a defensive score for Green Bay. And they've got a 20 to 6 lead. They, the integrity of the rush lanes. You see how they're kind of waiting for him to move? He was trying to get out. And they all stay in the rush lanes. And eventually that makes him have to go sideways where he doesn't get to step up on this bottom side. And that's troublesome because Leonard Floyd is having a career year with already almost 10 sacks. Even all that, you're going to see him right here. He's working over Glasgow at right guard. He just bull rushes. There's nothing fancy about this. John, John Madden.